Hey everybody, Danielle here. I'm doing a solo playthrough of Crumbs, the sandwich filler game. This game was provided to me by Minerva Tabletop Games, and I'm excited to show you what the playthrough looks like. Um, if you're interested in this game, definitely check out the Kickstarter link in the description below. Um, but, then, but for now, I've got this all set up. You basically sort your ingredients um, by uh, ingredient type. So we have salmon, avocado, egg, cheese, salad, and ham. And essentially, you follow the rule book in terms of difficulty. And so I'm doing the easy mode. So you'll see here, you actually start with order cards of uh, ham and salad. And so the order is on the other side of each of these uh, ingredient cards. So um, I have the ham and salad. So this is going to be easy mode. And I flip them over to see the orders for Matt and Lucy. And some of the people will have more than one sandwich order. Some will just have one, and that's okay. But once you complete the entire order card, you get to get the points on the top right. I also have all the bread cards here. And you could basically utilize any of these breads when you uh, take the assemble action. I want to point out these tokens. We have... Uh, the order tokens, so once you complete an order, you get to mark it with those tokens. We have these yellow stopwatch tokens to track your actions. You get to take five per round, and if you fail to create a sandwich before the round is over, you lose the game. So um, yeah, this is going to be a playthrough of how to play, not so much how to win because I'm not, I'm not very good at this game to be honest, but hopefully over time I'll be better. Um, Okay, so on your turn, you get to take five actions, um, and uh, you get to do a few things. So you could assemble, and when you assemble, you can decide to choose any one ingredient from your counter, including bread, and place it out onto your sandwich. And so um, in this case, since I'm just starting out, I think I will do the assemble action, taking one out of my pool, and then I will assemble using three bread. So again, you're choosing one ingredient and you're placing it down into your prep area. And since I know I'm going to be creating three sandwiches for this order card, I placed out um, three bread. So a second action here, I think I will also assemble again. Um, let me see which has kind of overlapping ingredients. We have two eggs, which we could place, two avocados, which we can place on them too. And this one kind of has different ingredients. So let's do the avocado. We'll put it on both of these. And then on this third action, I'm going to place the two eggs. On the fourth action, I will place bread. And to do that, I'm going to place this one here. And this one's not quite done, so I'm not gonna place bread yet. And essentially, the last action, I will not assemble, but instead I will toast. You can tell if something is toasted if you see the toast marks. So to toast, you just flip over the card and you toasted it, and I've completed Lucy's sandwich. I have the bread on the bottom, the avocado, the egg, and the toasted bread. So I'll go ahead and cover that sandwich up. The sandwich is complete. This will go into my pantry and I get five actions back. And when you complete a sandwich, you get to restock from your pantry um, that many times. So one sandwich, you restock one time, you complete two sandwiches, you restock twice. So you restock all of one ingredient into your counter. So in this case, I think because this sandwich here um, doesn't currently need any other ingredients, I think I'll just take the bread back and put it back in my, in my pile here. All right, next round. I'm going to spend an action to get, um, so to complete this, I need salmon. So I'll place a salmon. And then my second action, I will place bread. Third action, I will toast it. And I've completed Matt's sandwich. So this will all go into my pantry and then I will get to restock one ingredient. So something specifically for this, I don't think I, hmm. um, I don't 
know what's most useful here. It might be just the, the avocado to prepare for future turns. All right. So we reset the actions. I'm going to try to build this sandwich now. Um, so we will grab a salad. This action, I'll grab this ham. And then this action, I'll grab bread. And I don't need to toast it. So I've completed this sandwich now. Reset my actions and I will take back the eggs. Okay, so I've completed this order card. So I'll place this here. And this was a salad, so I get to add one more card, which is the matching other you know, salad card. That will be in the back of the order queue. All right, so now we get to continue here. We've scored two points so far because we completed this order card. Um, and then we'll, we'll just take out actions now. So these are the sandwiches I will be building. Okay, and then, let's see. Take an action, I'll place some bread out. Um, this, actually I'll do a, a, a restock of all the bread because I think I'm going to need some bread. Let's do that. A restock of the bread is the first action. Second action is placing out the bread. So let's do that. One, two, three, maybe just two. Well, no, I could do three, I guess. Um, okay. And then this action will be to place the avocado. And then this action will be placing the cheese. Um, oh no, okay, wait. I don't have the right bread. I should have paid attention to this. This bread should have been this sesame bread underneath because then I could have toasted it and completed the sandwich. But now I'm not going to be able to finish the sandwich, I don't think. I have one action left. So this is going to be a quick one because unfortunately you lose the game when you are not able to create a sandwich before the end of the round. So I have one action left. I anticipated toasting this, but I didn't end up placing the right bread down. Darn. Okay. So that, you know, if I played it efficiently... I would have completed this sandwich. It's funny because every time I play this, I've only ever completed one order card. <laughs> so I'm not very good at this game. It's challenging. Maybe I need to uh need to um just do play play like a lot more just to get better at planning ahead with, with these. Um but wow, what a puzzle. I, I I'm not bored of this game at all yet. It's a challenge for me to even get a second order card completed. Um and overall, a very simple game to play. Like, there's there's not too many things going on. You're assembling, you're restocking, you're um, also toasting bread. So there's really only so much you can do in this game. Um, very simple, easy to play, but not easy to win in my case. <laughs> um, yeah, so overall, a very enjoyable game. I like the artwork. Um, very simple and uh, pleasant to look at and play with. So if you're interested in getting this game for yourself, um, check out the Kickstarter link in the description below. Um, I'll probably create more videos of me playing this game and hopefully winning. Um, but yeah, I always appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you guys around. Thanks.